Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Matt here. I uh, just wanted to do a little highlight on the channel for the new scope that we got for my wife. This is her production division legal uh, rifle for the PRS rimfire matches that we shoot. And we just finished a two day 20 stage championship match here for the Canadian Rimfire Precision Series. First off, I wanna apologize if you hear a bunch of crickets because it's cricket mating season and they're just going nuts. Uh, but anyway, this is the new, or new to us Bushnell Match Pro ED. I looked online and there's actually a ton of content already out there. So I'm not gonna do like a very technical review or anything like that. Uh, but these are just starting to be available in Canada. Just this past week, I got my order in for the first shipment. And so we have it here, I mounted it up and this is our first time out with it. Um, so my wife just shot 20 stages over the weekend and I have to say, we're both very impressed. I took a look through this as well and I shot a few rounds. And honestly, this scope to me is probably the best scope sub $1,000 on the market right now in Canadian dollars. I think in the States, it's less than 700 bucks because that's the MSRP. So this thing honestly is phenomenal for the price. So uh, let's get a little bit closer. I'll just show you some key features. But again, this isn't a review. Just wanna sort of highlight it. So first off, the new Match Pro ED is a 34 mil tube. The older Match Pro was just a 30 mil. So it has a really nice amount of internal elevation, 30 in total. Here on the setup with a 30 MOA base, we have just over 20 MRAD of elevation upwards. The glass in this, I haven't compared yet side by side with the Venom or EP5, both of which I have, and both of which my wife has shot before. But I will do some side by side comparisons, but I think right now this might either match the EP5 or slightly nudge it out. So it has actually really nice glass. Again, as the name suggests, it does have extra low dispersion glass. So another big thumbs up. Now, if you follow the channel, you will have seen that my wife for the majority of the 2023 season was shooting the Arkin EP5. So you might be wondering why we wanted to try the Match Pro ED. The biggest reason is because of the reticle. The, the VPR reticle in the Arkin, I'm really not a fan of, and my wife was really struggling to read it efficiently on the clock and that was a complaint of mine as well. I, I don't really like that reticle. So that was the first thing. And the second second thing that this has uh, much better in our opinion are the turrets. Speaking of the reticle first, I, I can't remember what Bushnell calls this reticle, but it has 0.2 uh, holdover markings with dots at the 0.5 in the Christmas tree. So it's very intuitive to hold. I'll get my wife to talk about it afterwards. And it actually has 20 mils of holdover, which is insane. So she can dial 20 mils and hold another 20 mils. So it's 40 in total if she really wanted to. Um, but to see the entire 20 mils of holdover, you do have to back out the magnification quite a bit. Uh, magnification range is five to 30, which is great. We usually shoot between 10 to 15 for matches. And in that magnification range, the glass is really nice. Again, I haven't done any side-by-side -side comparison, but I'm very impressed with the glass. We can see Mirage really well. She was saying she can see her impacts on steel a lot better, uh, including, you know, like the paint chips off of some pretty far targets. So this scope seems like a big win. It has a 56 millimeter objective. And going on to the turrets here, let me get this dope card out of the way. Uh, you can see that they turn really nice and smooth. It's not the most tactile and like super clicky turret. Um, you know, people would definitely consider the clicks to have a little bit of mush, but more importantly to me is that it's, you would never miss dial. Each click is very distinct and it's very controllable, which is my biggest complaint with my Athlon scopes, my, my Aries, as well as the EP5. I find those turrets really skippy and to do single click inputs is sometimes a struggle, but this one is really nice to control. It feels good. Uh, the, the harshness of the clicks is well balanced with the tension in the turret, which is a big thumbs up. You'll notice that it is locking as well. So you push down to lock and pull up to unlock, but the lock is stiff enough where, again, my wife has shot 20 stages this weekend and she did not once accidentally lock the turret down on the clock. So it's nice that it's stiff. The, the windage is the same thing, which we do like because we can just adjust the windage and then instead of, instead of having to like zero it out, we can just lock it down for the day. It also has a really cool rev indicator. So if I go down to our, oops, down to our zero stop there, you'll see that the rev indicator, which is this red dot is flush with the turret, similar to like a Collis. Uh, but when we dial up, 
once we hit past nine and a half mils, the little rev indicator pops up with a silver ring to let you know that you're in your second uh, rev, which is awesome. The Venom doesn't have this, and the EP5 just has those lines, which I think are, it's like the lazy way to do it. So this is really nice. Another feature that you don't see often in um, like more entry level priced scopes. So that's great. There is a zero stop as you can see. I have it set so it's about uh, six tenths below the zero, but you can set it so it stops right at zero as well. If I get this out of the way, you do have illumination. The illumination is pretty cool because it just illuminates the first 10 MRAD of holdover. And then the parallax knob, honestly, it might be one of the nicest ones I've ever felt on any scope. It's, it has the perfect amount of tension, which is not very much. So you can dial it very easily and it's buttery smooth. Same with uh, the magnification ring. This throw lever is a separate piece. You can put an Allen key in the back of it and spin it out, and you have three different options of where to install it. We put it on the leftmost side, um, because again, in the magnification range about here, where we shoot, it gives her a direct line of sight to her turret. It doesn't get in the way. And if you're left-handed, you can put it on the other side, so it's awesome. But anyway, again, this is the Bushnell Match Pro ED. I am very impressed with it so far. This isn't a review, sort of just initial impressions after we've used it for the first weekend out at a match. Uh, so let's get some of my uh, wife's thoughts about this scope now. All right, here's my wife who just shot the 20 stages with me for the CRPS Championship match here. What are your thoughts on your new Bushnell Match Pro ED? I really like it. I haven't had any problems. The first time Matt changed my scope for the first time, I made a lot of mental er errors i was reading it wrong so it was just very difficult to get used to but this is the first match i shot with it and i didn't have any issues so the first scope we started you on was the vortex venom yes which is actually a pretty good scope but then we went to the ep5 because we we wanted better optical quality in the glass so also because i couldn't adjust my parallax at all. It yeah. was so stiff, I was afraid of losing time just trying to dial it, so I would just never touch it. And that's on the Venom? Yes. Yeah, the Venom had a very stiff parallax knob. So when we went to the EP5, the glass was better, but then what did you struggle with? The EP5, I struggled with reading the, the reticle. Yeah. And they had a lot of, so they didn't have enough lines, so you had to count the gaps which I wasn't very used to, especially for someone who's dyslexic. When, when lines are very close together, they kind of sometimes move and merge. So it was very difficult for me to already to be on the clock, really stressed on time, and then having to read these like little lines and then having to count the gaps in between as well. Yeah, it, just, um, it, took, it took Dory really long to read the reticle and then apply it to the hold that she needed. So a lot of her holdovers would either take her too long or she would hold incorrectly and then miss the target, which was really frustrating to see. Yeah, so. I would say once every three matches, I would simply lose points because I was reading incorrectly. Yeah. Yeah, probably more often than that. Probably like one stage in every match, I feel like you were complaining about yeah. that, the reticle. So now, um, how, how is it like using the reticle in the Bushnell here? So they have a lot more lines and each line is two. Point two. Point two mils. So it's very intuitive in terms of reading. And I found that um, there's a dot for those point fives. In, so I'll put a picture if, on this yeah, screen. You don't have to. There's yeah. a point five uh, for for height, also for wind. So sometimes, especially today, it's quite windy and I had to ha hold 0.5 mil or a little bit more. I just referenced that point. Yeah. And that was super helpful. I didn't think I would use it, but I actually used it in most of these stages. Yeah, I'm very impressed with the reticle on the Bushnell. And uh, the turrets, do you like the turrets? Turrets, I am in love with. There is zero struggle, very smooth. I turn it really well and I haven't had any skipping issues. On the Arcan EP5, you were skipping all over the place. Like if you had to dial one, you would sometimes dial to 1.1. And then if you try and go down one click, you'd go to like 0.8 or something like that. Yeah. So, but yeah, very controllable and they feel good, parallax and everything. Yeah, parallax feels this, like a little bit more stiff than the turrets, but not by far. Yeah, and you can actually change it on the stage. Yes, I could. And did you use the rev indicator at all today? I did have a stage that went over 10 mils. So once I came off the stage, I have a bad habit of not going back to zero. <laughs> yeah. So when I was getting ready, I noticed it was up. So it was helpful. Awesome. So there it is. First weekend with the Match Pro ED. We could not be happier. 
if you follow the channel, you'll see my wife shoot it going forward for the foreseeable future. So there we go, Match Pro <laughs> ED. Good, good scope so far.